Hey guys, Josh here for another island tour and today we're visiting a fairy core island and I'm super excited as this is our very first fairy core island tour on this channel. So as usual before we start we're just gonna take a quick look at our map. So this island is called Nabi which means butterfly in Korean and the creator is Barry so she's gonna show us around. So without any further ado let's just start this tour. Oh wow did you just see there's some shooting stars right now this is the perfect uh, time for this to right and it seems like we've got some gifts which is just the best way to start a tour and Barry will be our fairy guide and she seems really happy to see us and let's just there's just so many shooting stars right okay let's take a quick oops I didn't mean to do that I always do that my inventory is missing as always because I've been terraforming so much so I think we're gonna be a kind of explorer. Yeah, we've got some cargo sh Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, wait, 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 that's ridiculous. Okay. All right, so I'm an explorer today and I'm ready to start this tour. Cute, thank you. All right. Oh wow, this is so beautiful, right? So many details, I like all the paths. And yeah, it's my first time visiting a fairy core island. So Barry told me she wanted to make an elegant fairy core with some hints of a cottage core. And so far, it really feels magical, right? And I think we're about to use our ladder. So we're going up here. I guess we're about to have a pretty nice view. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. With the shooting stars, it just makes it even better, right? Oops. Are we going down on the right side or... Yeah, I think we're going down here, right? Oh, wow. Oops. Oh, okay, I'm stuck actually. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> and I like... Oh, all of her flowers are white, right? So far, and all of her paths are white. It's just so uniform, so nice. And we've got a very cute turtle here. And we've got just so many turtles on this beach. And now we're about to have some dinner. It's the Turtle Cafe. Oh my gosh, I love this place so much. I love cafes, I love turtles. This is so nice. No turtles on the menu. <laughs> Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh wow. That is just so cute. Wow. Okay. Very lovely turtle cafe. Very unique, right? That's such a clever idea. And now we're about to do some jumping here. Up. Oh wow, there's so many star fragments, right? So you can take a nap here and oh wow they actually form a heart oh my gosh we have to take a picture of that right oh stargazing area yeah oh wow that is just so beautiful of course with a cute heart yeah oh my gosh that's so creative that's that's such a beautiful picture actually that's really nice and like this stars form a heart and also the flowers they make a bigger heart right oh my gosh I want to stay here okay oh wow here we've got a little pool area so nice and relaxing we've got some blue so we got a little change of color to go with the blue of the pool I mean of the water spa time yeah Oh wow, so relaxing. I like all the leaves on the ground. And the colors are just so nice, even the um, lifesaver and oops, I didn't know you could sit on that and the surfboard, it's all white and blue, right? Everything <laughs> matches. All right, let's continue our tour of this lovely island. So I got some more surfboards and here we've got another little stargazing area. Wow, there's so much details, right? We've got the lighthouse here. Oh wow. 
So many, a lot of seashell furniture, right? And here we've got a little chilling spot with a guitar. And actually, Barry told me that when she was making this island, she, I think that's a very kind of important uh, lesson to know. Uh, she told me that when she was making this island, she tended to put herself down a lot and compare her island with other people. And But actually, if you look at her island, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going to watch this video and look at this beautiful island. And they're going to put themselves down, right? But you got to learn to just love your island. And even the people with the most beautiful islands tend to try to compare their, themselves. But... That's not the right thing to do, right? You just gotta enjoy your island and do things at your own pace. And yeah, this is just so beautiful, right? So nice. Oops, I can't jump. Okay. So relaxing. Oh wow, so here we've got a little moon crescent kind of thing going on. A little moon crescent island. Oh, the shooting stars. So nice. This is beautiful. Let me just catch that shooting star. <laughs> this is beautiful. And again here we've got some blue. Blue and white. I wonder if we're gonna see other colors, but... Oh, that little monkey is just too cute. Wow. And here, I think we have some kind of gardening area. I've got lots of plants and... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you could actually interact with the flea. That's just so funny. That's too cute. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's a first for me. <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Here we've got a little hot spring with some bamboo. Oh wow, that bridge on the right looks so good. And these little circles, they're just really cute. So uh, I don't think she's made any of the custom designs herself. They're all on her Instagram and I really like this blanket here. Uh, yeah, all of the custom or, or maybe most of the custom designs that she used are available on her Instagram. So I'll link that and you can check her story highlights and all of the codes are on there. Oh wow, I like this little kind of waterfall here. So nice. And here we've got a little seating area. Oh wow. Okay, now we're going up. So here we've got a little study kind of area with a stargazing. And she's daydreaming right now. This is so beautiful. Okay, so that's the library. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We've got so much more to see, right? Oh, I want to run around and check everything, but we got to take our time to enjoy this peaceful island, right? <laughs> I'm going to get so many star fragments tomorrow. Oh, wow. This is huge, huge butterfly. So I think we're still in the library. It's just so cozy. That's the perfect place to study, right? I don't like studying much, but if I had a library like this in real life near my place, I definitely will spend a lot more time studying, that's for sure. And I like how you have to jump around to get to places. And we get the light of the lighthouse actually goes right beside us. That's, that's a nice little touch, right? So beautiful. Okay. And there's just so many different patterns on the floor, right? There's all sorts of flowers and leaves and bricks and stones. 
so here we've got some fountain so that's the butterfly garden so in this area she added a different colors so we've got a pink or not sure if it's red or pink lights and it just really highlights the fountain the beautiful fountain right this is so nice so beautiful we've got under lovely waterfall here And we've got some orange here. So we've got a little gardening and kind of picnic area. So nice. And we've got Zucker's house right there. My favorite villager. Oh, so that's a tiny farm. Yeah, really, really tiny, right? <laughs> Just a scarecrow and a little, little plot of uh, garden. So she said that she had a lot of ugly villagers. I hope she was not talking about Zucker. But yeah, she said she still has to go villager hunting and try to find the villagers that she liked. So let's go up here and see the beautiful view. Oh wow, so we've got the moon over there, the light, the museum entrance. That is so Beautiful, right? Can I get another shooting star? I think not. Okay, let's go down. Oh wow. So, next we're going in the museum area. Ooh, we've got a big statue over here. That is beautiful. I feel like everything on this island is just so simple but somehow so beautiful, right? Nothing too complicated or extravagant but everything is just so well coordinated like her use of colors and just all of the different areas merge together so well they all blend together, right? When you've got a second lighthouse over there Oh, where did she go? What? I lost my guide. Where's she? Where's she? Wait, oh, she's over there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we've got a little kind of tea area. Well, there's no tea here, but yeah, a little lunch area. Oh wow, look at these waterfalls on the side and behind me. They're all very very tiny waterfalls, but they just look so cute. Okay, where are we going next? Oh wow, so we've got a beautiful wedding area over here. Let me sit here. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Okay, it's not, can't really take a picture with the tree, but. <sighs> Just so many details, right? And, oh wow. So we've, we've got a little um, chapel, kind of. And I like how she used the garden, the iron garden benches rather than the, just the wedding benches, right? They look more, I guess they fit the fairy core aesthetic more. And all of these beautiful candles on the floor. And she just played a beautiful song for us. And yeah, all of these little candles just look so good. Oh wow, that is, congrats getting married. <laughs> Me and her? Is it? Are we getting married? <laughs> so nice. Look at all the flowers on the ground. I've been saying this so many times, but yeah. And I don't know which area she was referring to, but she also said that, oh my gosh, this bridge. I love this bridge. 
she also said that a lot of areas she created by accident and it ended up being the areas that she liked the most of on her island and she quoted Bob Ross and she said we don't we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents and it's true you know just enjoy the process of building your island and try different things and sometimes without planning you're gonna do something and it's gonna end up looking really beautiful and really nice so yeah just don't be too harsh on yourselves and it's okay to make mistakes and yeah do your island at your own pace right so here we've got a little picnic and stargazing area kind of I feel like every area on this island could be a stargazing area actually right got some ukulele here we're playing <laughs> both both people on the same ukulele I don't know if that's possible in real life but yeah so nice and here we've got some more colors right so we've got some black some pink some purple but she keeps these colors in just one area right nice and now we're back on this beautiful bridge oh where did she i lost her again okay oh, i'm doing some more jumping and now we're heading to the secret beach oh wow so it's a little music area so we've got all the beautiful white instruments so relaxing it's the fairy concert that's beautiful red is so lucky to have such a beautiful entrance on this island so nice oh. there's some black i see some black red and gold roses over there i'm really looking forward to seeing what's in that area right so i think we're gonna cross the bridge yes we are here we've got a kind of little fruit market you can weigh your fruits here a little pump so i think that's kind of a residential area well i like actually how she she didn't cram all of her villagers together right they're, they all have their own space and oh so here we've got a baking area oh, wow these designs let me just zoom in so we can see these designs that just so cute and she's got a little recipe book over there that's real nice that's a really nice use of these exterior benches right that is beautiful yeah, I was saying that I really like how a residential area doesn't feel crammed like uh, everybody has their own space and they're not like lined up all straight together, right? Okay, so that's the campsite over here. We've got this beautiful bed rose, rose bed here with all the red roses. And we've got the apples and the cherries. So romantic, right? Need a kiss from Prince. Am I her prince? Charming. <laughs> I don't think that's me. <laughs> I'm not dressed like a prince right now, right? So here we've got some magician kind of thing going on. Oh, so now we're going in the black, black side. So I don't know if there's some black magic or something going on here. So we've got a graveyard with two gravestones. And... She seems scared of them, but somehow it still looks very cute. And she's kind of made her own little rock garden, I think, in that area, right? So we've got three rocks here, and a three, well, one here, two here. Yeah, so I think all of her rocks are on this little mountain, right? I just love this baking area so much. And just like walking around on this island is just so much fun. These little circles. 
so I think we're in a kind of little cafe slash library slash uh, teddy bear area forest cafe okay so nice so so nice we've got a phone here oh some popcorn over there beautiful be very very beautiful and even the coffee machine is blue right she sticks with her colors oh wow look at this view that's so relaxing right so below we've got the laundry village okay oh yeah right they all got their little clothes line there's like three or four of them three of them oh wow so here we've got a little outdoor cinema yeah, I'm gonna sit in the front row because my eyesight is really bad and I have to sit at the front and I'm gonna be close to the food and it's just so nice right it's so clever the design with the credits fairies like to watch movies oh do they <laughs> so cute I wonder what kind of movies fairies watch right maybe like Peter Pan or I don't know I have no idea this is such a, a magical island right so I don't know how many times I've said the word relaxing but it is and here in this area actually we're changing the vibe a little bit I feel like it's a little bit darker okay so that's the market and now we're playing this little game that I have no idea how to play and yeah so we've got some cooking going on here some pottery store and she's pushing me around and yeah we've got some gas some things going on here oh wow and on the oh we've got Celeste today and now we're entering the yellow area I just like how she used the colors once again I said it so many times but it's just so nice so we've got a little yellow area with the yellow flowers yellow furniture it's just so cute you can eat some candies on the beach you know we're going on the dock look at that so nice not very realistic to have stones on top of the <laughs> wood but it looks so nice so it doesn't matter right we're on a fairy island so realism is not that important right now oh wow just so many of these fountains right and we've got some big sharks over here and she's running really fast let me catch up to her i don't want to ruin her flowers so and here we've got a little kind of writing area we've got a little journal here and she's stuck what is she doing <laughs> what is she doing <laughs> what's wrong with her what's happening to barry barry are you okay <laughs> so is this like a scary area so we've got some paper here so okay so that's kind of an art area right so We've got some painting going on here, and yeah, she's painting something for us. What is she painting? Maybe she's painting her Prince Charming. Uh, some fairies. So nice. Also, I'd like to know, guys, what kind of islands do you like the most? Would you like me to visit more of this kind of fairy core, or maybe cottage core, or? Do like tropical or Japanese urban I, I try to visit islands of all styles I don't want to stick with one style because I think that it's good to take inspiration from all the styles and all the islands right and they all have their own uniqueness but I'd like to know what you guys want to see most let me know in the comments what kind of islands you like the most and now we're in some little cafe area 
we got this beautiful cake and now it's all pink and white there's a moon crescent over there all this flag with a butterfly maybe that's so beautiful this is the perfect island for a date right if you come on this island with your lover it's definitely going to be a fun and romantic date so where are we going next is that it so we've got able sisters here we've got some beautiful dresses oh i like this area here it's with the we're kind of going up near the river and we've got a workshop for the able sister as well and that's a pretty big workshop right it's kind of like above the store that's really nice we've got everything here for sewing beautiful good job good job And here we've got a kind of a restaurant on the beach. And look at these panels with the roses. This looks so beautiful. She's got a message bottle here. Diner, yeah, so that's a diner. Such a beautiful fairy diner, right? Good job. And she's pushing me around. These flamingos look so cute, they look like a couple, right? Oh wow, let's take a look at these waterfalls and the moon, right? Oh wow. Can you see the moon? Yeah, I can. I don't have... Yeah. <laughs> I have the yes reaction, but I'm not sure like where it is. Oh wow. There's so much to see, right? That's beautiful. So now we're in the residential area. And I like how even the houses fit the theme, right? So these houses are like pink and white and we've got some garden here, some fishing area over there. And look at the bridge over there, okay. Oh, I lost my guide again for the third time. Oh, okay, there she is. She's too fast. She's running too fast. Okay. So here we've got a little uh, candle shop, maybe. And maybe she can make some candle here and sell them. She's probably gonna tell. Oh, a candle making area. Oh, wow. Okay, I got it. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Okay, maybe not that much, but yeah little candle making area that's really unique right we don't see that very often and now we've got a little just a little chilling spot and oh we've got a mailbox right here and i think we're about to see the interior of her house and i'm just really really excited looking forward to see what she did inside okay so now we're in the living room and wow so i think that's where she kind of took her that's where she put raymond is my cat he <laughs> he oh okay okay oh my gosh that's too funny okay we've got a little coffee here it looks so nice so homey and cozy right Let's see what's in the next room. 
Oh wow, okay, so now we're in the bathroom and I like how it's so dark and uh, yeah, it's a little bit scary, right? But it looks really good and I, I'm not sure what floor is that, it's like stone, right? And it looks like we're kind of in a cave or like underground or something. Oh wow, let's just take a moment to and the lighting is just so good okay let's catch up that was a very beautiful bathroom and now we're going on the right side of the house okay so here we've got a very cute and colorful kitchen with the little mismatch chair here the pink fridge, it's all pink and yellow, very lovely and happy kitchen, right? That is beautiful. And this cake is just so cute, the little cat cake. So I like that all of her rooms are, they all have, they all fit the fairy core theme. Oh wow, and this mushroom wall was really nice. Yeah, they all fit the theme, but they all have their own theme by themselves, right? They all look different at the same time. Oh wow, so here we've got a little office study area. We've got some plaques here, so many trophies. Just got a little writing studying area. Oh. Piano. It's a very beautiful room, right? And I like how there's just two lights. There's this here and the two lights on the wall that you can't really see. Yeah, over here. So beautiful. Yeah, all the rooms are just so good in this house. This carpet is really nice. I don't know if it's a custom design or... I don't think it's an item, right? The little rug that she had in front of her entrance. Oh wow, so we've got the bedroom here that's all white and gold. She's got the Celeste furniture. And she used the wedding wall and it just fits. Is that the wedding? I think it is, right? And I just noticed that if you look in the windows, you can see kind of... Can you see like kind of mountains or something outside the window? And yeah, it looks like we're in a castle or something, right? It's so beautiful. I could fall asleep right here. I, I can't... So relaxing. Such a beautiful bedroom. Okay, wake up and let's check out the basement. I'm really excited for what we're about to see in the basement. I wonder if it's gonna be maybe kind of a darker thing or a bit like the bathroom or it's gonna be something very light and cheerful. Okay, so we're actually in the forest right now we've got mountains she's on her throne <laughs> she seems <laughs> really proud of herself and yeah she should be proud of this room because it's beautiful it feels so natural and once again i really like that all the rooms have their own little theme but they all somehow fit the theme of the island right so let me know guys in the comment what was your favorite room for me i think this would have to be the bathroom the dark kind of cave like bathroom but i also really like the study kind of study room so guys i think that's it for our tour of nabi it was such a very very beautiful island i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you can follow barry on instagram you can also follow me on instagram and I just want to remind you that all of her codes uh, that she used on her island are on there. So definitely feel free to check it out and you can use them on your island. 
and yeah if you like the video please feel free to click like and subscribe and if you like me to tour your island i'll leave a form in the video description below fill it out and i might come and check your island and also if there's any island that maybe it's not your island but a very unique or good looking island that you'd like me to visit just uh, contact me either here on youtube or instagram or twitter and yeah just let me know and i'll make sure to try to check out that island all right guys thanks so much for watching and have a good day